Do you have a, a particularly bad weight cutting story? I don't have a bad weight cutting story. I have a bad rehydration story. Oh, because after <laughs> that's, that's even worse. Like my first MSG fight, I hadn't fought in nine months, and I was, I was like, this, Fuck is, this is against who? Uh, Kurt Halibo. Oh, Kurt Halibo, okay. dude. And um, so after I made the weight, I uh, me, me and Julio were, were walking around in the city, and uh, we we were getting stuffed for after weigh-ins. We we're like, what are we gonna eat? What are we gonna eat after weigh-ins? It's like, dude, I love M and M's after weigh-ins. So we go to the M M&M, and M and M World in, in the city, <laughs> and uh, the prices were insane. We were like. Screw this. Let's go to CVS across the street and get some yeah. M&M's. So we, this is on like a Wednesday, weight cuts on Friday. So we go to CVS across the street and uh, you, it's Julio found it. He's like, you, dude, it's like the big three pound bag for like five bucks. I was like, screw it. I'll get this one. You get that one. We'll, we'll mix them. So I get the big three pound bag of freaking M&M's. I make the weight and I'm just picking on the M&M's. Before the day is done, I look down. I'm like, dude, I ate a whole three pound bag of M&M's. Stupidest thing ever, dude. I... I did not feel good the next day. Like I, I ate way too. It's one of those things like you're dieting so strict that when you when you don't have to worry about it anymore, you just want to oh just go in. So ate three pound MMs, but uh, before before that, I had like a brownie, like a a little brownie sundae. Like dude, it was like it was just bad. And then the next morning, my mouth, I had such bad cotton mouth. Like my mouth, I got put my mouthpiece in. I'd take it out because my mouth was just dry, like the desert. I had to keep sipping water. Just I remember, because of the M&M. dude, it was the worst. <laughs> I, I had to be because of three pounds of MMs. That cannot be good after cutting weight and being so strict on your diet. So being backstage, I remember, like I was freaking out a little bit. I was a little nervous because I was like, I had to keep drinking water. I wasn't thirsty, but I just needed to keep wetting my mouth. I was like, dude, what is going on? This is driving me nuts. I remember backstage, the guy's music plays. He goes out there, and I'm like, give me some more water. Give me some more water. I'm just slushing it in my mouth. I'm spitting it out. And I was thinking the whole time, I was trying not to think about it, but I'm like, damn, what if this goes like late into the third round? How's my mouth going to feel this whole time? Like oh I'm thinking, because once you start sweating, it's, your mouth's really going to dry out. I'm like, fuck, my like, shit, this is going to suck. Oh, I'm like, no, it doesn't matter. Don't, don't think about it. Don't, I'm saying don't think about it, but I'm thinking about it the whole time. I'm like, this is going to be fun. And I go out there and I win in the first round. I was like, that would have yeah. been interesting to see how I felt in the second and third. And then I learned my lesson after that, man. After that, I had one of my coaches, uh, Shout out to Frank Benedetto. He runs my rehydration process, process and tells me what I can and can't eat. And I've just been listening to that. And ever since listening to that, I feel 10 times better. Like I can go binge the M&Ms after I get the win. I'm not doing that shit anymore. No more m M&M. and <laughs> I can have an M&M or two, but not like a three pounds. I was like, dude, what the hell are you doing? It's crazy that you would think like when when – I'm watching a, a, a fight at, at Madison Square Garden. You wonder what's going on in the fighters' heads. <laughs> and, and here we are. You're thinking about the, the bag of three-pound M&M's. M&M's that, that, fucked, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And what do you usually walk in to the cage at? It, every fight is different. Uh, 165-ish to 170. Wow. So You put on 20, 25 pounds. Yeah. I think that's always the most impressive thing is how – it must be weird, though, right? Do you feel your body getting back bigger? You definitely do. It feels – you, you feel alive again because after you're cutting weight you feel yeah. you do not feel good nobody yeah. feels good on, on weigh day unless you're not cutting weight like you don't you can see it in everybody's eyes are sunken in you just don't feel good um after you make the weight it's it happens slowly but it, towards the end of the day you're like oh shit i'm normal again like i feel i feel back to normal wow. it's one of those things like you you cut weight every time you stand up your vision goes like dark and i mean it's it's not fun thank you so much for watching if you haven't done so already, please make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button and also follow me on Instagram at felix.levine to stay updated on all new content as it comes out.